All right, sixth graders, this is to help you with question one on CR 14. It says the table shows the toothpaste tube fill rate of one machine. So it says toothpaste tube filling. And it gives it a set of minutes, a set of tubes. So in two minutes, that, that machine can fill 80 tubes of toothpaste. In four minutes, the machine can fill 160 tubes of toothpaste. In six minutes, the machine can fill 240 tubes of toothpaste, and so on. Which of these rates, which of these describes the fill rate per minute? Okay, fill rate per minute. I know they're looking for a unit rate. Unit rate means per one minute. When they say rate per minute, what they're really asking you is how many tubes can be filled each minute. So that's what this question means. All right, so I'm going to show you as seventh graders how we look at it. I know you're in sixth grade and then I'll talk to you possibly about how you look at it at the sixth grade level. So if you want to know unit rate per one minute, I would say tubes filled and then I would say number of minutes. We set up fractions as seventh graders and then we simplify that fraction to tubes filled per one minute. So I can take any one of these connections. I'm going to choose this first one here and I can say 80 tubes are filled in two minutes. And the question is how many tubes can I fill in one minute? 80 tubes can be filled in two minutes. How many tubes can be filled in just one minute? So now I have equivalent fractions and I just look here. I know something about the denominators. Well, how do I get from a two to a one? Oh, two divided by two is one. What can I do with the 80? If I have to divide the denominator by two, I must also divide the numerator by two. 80 divided by two is 40. So that means we must be able to fill 40 tubes per minute. As sixth graders, you might choose to use your upside down carrot, but again, you would still do tubes per minute equals tubes per minute. You would take one of the facts from given in the table. You'd know there's 80 tubes in two minutes. I chose to put my minute second, so on the other side of my ratio, I choose to put my minute second, and I want to know per one minute. So then I look here, I go, oh, what's the connection between the two and the one? Oh, two divided by two is one. So what do I have to do with the 80? 80 divided by two is 40. So I have to tell you, these two methods really are performing the same math. It's just as seventh graders, the New York State says we have to teach it this way. And in sixth grade, New York State says we teach it this way. Just different methods to teach the same type of problem. I hope that helps.